All right, all right. Hey, we are live. We are live. Hey, this is Jimmy Coffin for Coffin Comics. I'm taking over Julian uh, Moraga's place uh, today because he is... Uh, what's up, Miguel? Uh, Julian is taking a well-deserved rest today after uh, being the hype man for this weekend's Coffin Comics Online uh, extravaganza. So, hey, what's up, Bob Conister? Uh Hey, what's up, guys? So, we're just going to go over some of the chapters on the Coffin Verse here. Uh, if you want to get talkative and uh, ask questions, we'll go to do some other stuff as well. Um, yeah, just here to have a good time, have some fun, and just point out some of the stuff for the new folks out there in the world of uh, Comic Book Shopping Network. Hey, what's up, Troy? Good to uh, hear from you. So, first of all, folks, I just want to talk about. Um, oh, I just lost my. Where's my notes? Bam! Okay. See if I can remember this off the top of my head. This one, really hot. We just announced this. It just came out last month. Hit comic book shops. We still have some in, in store uh, at ladyfstore.com. So you got the links uh, in the description. Go there. We got uh, ones that for the Coffinverse premiums over here. We got another link that goes right to here, the Scorched Earth. Okay, this one right here. Scorched Earth, number one of two. Only $4.99. This is chapter nine, part one of Lady Death uh, story on Coffin Comics. Look at this. This is amazing. Amazing artwork. Love this one. Sago just fucking, oh, excuse me, just going crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Visago. Oh, you know what? I just really noticed this artist gave Visago some uh, wolf teeth on there. Holy cow. Giving, giving the nameless wolves a, uh, a run for their money. Look at that. Woo! All right. Oh yeah, very cool. Love the how they uh, the flaming hair, glowing hair of Sago, on that very fun uh, artwork on here. Look at that. Just the detail on that man. Very cool. Very cool. Only four ninety nine for this one. This is just first half of the uh, chapter nine, Scorched Earth, but. Uh, you might just want this one just for this cover. Amazing cover on that. So this is in the link. No call-outs on this for uh, new folks out there. No call-outs. You just go to the link and shop, and you are done with it. This one. Woo-wee. I tell you what, boy. Scorched Earth, number one, number two, boudoir edition. I tell you what. Hey, what's up, Dane? How's it going? Jimmy, uh, working the camera today. Julian is off on a well-deserved rest. So, hey, Phil Locklear, what's up, Phil? Now, damn, Lady Death, I tell you what, son. Yeah, this is great. Look at the, uh, look at the detail on, uh, on that mirror. Very fun, very fun cover. This one's still in stock. Hit, hit the store shelves last week. Uh, folks are getting this, picking this up on Diamond. Love this cover, very cool, very great. Uh, very fun. Just, just enjoy. Just enjoy. Beautiful artwork on a, a Monday. Gotta love it. Gotta love my job. Hey, Brian Polito's watching. Hey, folks, Brian Polito is in the feed, joining us here today. So if you've got any questions for Brian, you might want to shoot it out. He might want to text that one. Oh, okay. This is great. All right. So I'm happy to show, show you guys this one live in, in person because you did not... Uh, this foil, the uh, Scorched Earth Premium Foil Edition, does not show so well on just the stock cover that we use on the store. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Look at the skulls, the details that came out. This one, I was shocked. Actually, Brian was, uh, they showed up. Brian was looking at this one, and I was like, holy cow. And uh, Brian's like, yep, of course. Of course, it's, it's gorgeous. I'm like, oh, man. Not only the artwork itself. But I just love the, uh, the little details of the skull popping up with that in the, in the foil. So cool. This is Richard Ortiz, another uh, home run from Richard Ortiz. This one is uh, signed. That's something, too, folks, if you go to uh, ladyfstore.com or go to the link in the description, you will see that there's an option for a free signature from Brian Polito, which also gives you a free Brian Polito um, certificate as well. And this document here by... <clears throat> certifies the authenticity of the writer creator Brian Polito signature on this item except no imitations so that's a free uh, free item uh, free signature that Brian gives 
on that one. So if you folks, if you see this um, comment right now from Brian Polito, he's proofing the Lady Death Malevolent Decimation Number One Lenticular Edition. So he's giving it a proof. Um, yeah, it is amazing. Uh, we saw that when Brian stopped in today, and it is a stunner as well. But this this book right here, this one's twenty five dollars. I don't know if I mentioned these ones were only four ninety nine each. On here, this one is uh, twenty five dollars on the Premium Foil Edition. That is super stunning. A great addition to your collection. I just love how that the skulls pop out on that. This one, uh oh, Scorched Earth Number One Naughty Edition. This one's forty dollars. Um, I don't I don't know if there's children in the room. Make them uh, leave the room, because we are freeing the nipples. Sorry, folks. This one is another stunner. This one's forty dollars. If you did not pick this up at the uh, at your local comic book shop, you can pick it up today at LadyDeathStore.com. And uh, all right, that's it's you know. If this is not for you, we we appreciate that. But if it is for you, please join us at LadyDeathStore.com. You can go look at the uh, links right there, and uh, you can pick this one this one up for forty dollars. This is the comic shop market edition of Scorched Earth number one. <laughs> yeah, good good point, Phil. Close your eyes if needed. That is correct. Just like when uh, watching horror movies with my folks as a kid. It was like, uh-oh, here's the, uh, the naughty part. Don't worry, Mom. I'm going to close my eyes when the lady's taking a shower. All right, now get this. So this one, the Elite Edition, Mike DeBalfo. This is part of the set, which is $74.99. So basically $75. It's a set. So you get this book in this set. You get all one, two, three, four, five of these books, and you get that for 75 bucks pretty much uh, on that. So Brian Polito will do free shipping on that, but just check this out. This is a um, comic market incentive edition, only available. All right, let's put it back here. Let's take a look at this again. The Elite Edition, folks, a comic market um, incentive for comic book shops. If they order enough, they will get this one. Um, <laughs> That's right, Phil. I was just saying you were going to close your eyes, but the people who want to close their eyes, they can. That is correct. Very funny. Um, Mike DeBalfo, uh, beautiful man, beautiful art from, uh, from Mike DeBalfo. He, he's a stunning, stunning uh, lady death. Always, uh, what's up, Scott? Always knocks it out of the park as well on these lady death editions. So this one is a hyper limited, you know, one in ten type of edition that was just for comic markets. Uh, this is their incentive through Diamond. If they order enough books, they'll get this uh, at a uh, low price and they, they will sell it for whatever they want to sell it. But right now you can get it here through us, ladyfstore.com and that's set for $75, all those books. Wonderful. So you can see that in the links. I got links in the description or go directly to ladyfstore.com. Hey, what's up, Scott? No, Scott, no! Hey, guys, also, uh, it's not in a link. You have to do a little searching, but if you search for the, um, the coins, do you? I'm sure everyone watching has their uh, challenge coin. Very fun. This is an awesome. Ace, oh, okay, Ace has a comment. He used to put his hands over his eyes. Right, right, and your hands are, uh, so when you watch the naughty part in um, a horror movie, this is how you watched it. Like, no, Mom, I'm just going to close during the, uh, the part when she's in the shower. I'm just going to put my hands over my face, Mom. I'm not going to look at the part when the uh, lady is in the shower. Okay, anyway. Anywho, this, I love, this, I love this, um, these challenge coins because uh, it's a fun game, a fun social game that you, uh, you have with the other fiends, the Sworn Nation, which is based off of a military thing. So the military has a, a tradition of doing these challenge coins. And... Um, so you throw them down and challenge uh, the other fiends and the other. Oh, the original challenge coin. I believe we added it. It's still on the store for Coffin Comics Con Online. Do a search. See if they're on the store because I believe we did not remove these from the, uh, the store right now. So do a search. See if you can find it. I know we were pimping them for Coffin Comics Con Online 2020, our first ever historic event. Uh, so it should should still be there. Yeah, I love that. I love how we do that, um, li aligning with the uh, that military tradition. They are not, Miguel says, oh, okay, so never mind. 
Don't look at that one. Just look at this. All we have is... <laughs> but you know what? Shoot. You know what? Since we have them here, shoot shoot Sean an email at inquiries at coffincomics.com and uh, see if you can put a skew on there and help, can help you out. Since we have... Looks like we have a couple here. Because these were going to the con. They did not make it. See if he can uh, hook you up with that. So let's just promote this one right here. <laughs> Lady that's 25th anniversary. The Lady that rules. Coins! Right. I think we have a couple sword hat sword. They, they might be sold out over the weekend. You know, these ones could have been sold out too. I, I, I should say that. It was wild, wild weekend. I don't know if you uh, joined us on all the feeds for Coffin Comics Con online. It was a madhouse. Um, we're still trying to put this warehouse together. It was. We had one day of rest, and we're back at it, uh, finding our way through the uh, our uh, exhaustion. So. So today we're going to talk about, all right, I talked about these. We did that. We're doing it. Got good, good, uh, make a good time. And we're going to talk about these chapters here. So if you guys have any questions or anything else, let me know. I want to just, uh, focus, uh, show you guys something. So new people who are watching this feed a little later, I'm going to go into the crypt. Boom. This is where I get to uh, sit and enjoy my life every day. Love working at Coffin Comics. Love working at Coffin Comics. So once again, you go to latefstore.com. So we don't do call-outs, so this is uh, just a reminder to folks who are new to Lady Def and how we do things on Comic Book Shopping Network. You just go to ladydefstore.com. And uh, the links I'm, I put in the description are for the, um, which one was it? Comic Book Shopping Network. And the, the items that we just listed today that I just showed are at the very end of the page. Boom, boom, boom. So right here. See, these are the ones I just showed you guys. So that one, the uh, Scorched Earth Boudoir, Premium Foil, bum, 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 and that. So, oh, Haley, yeah, you need a hat? We might still have, let's see. Let's check it out. I, we might have sold out because I know we only had a few. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think we called a cap or merchandise. So shoot Sean a, um, yeah, we, we had them on there. They might have sold out over the, uh, the, the weekend. And, okay, other folks, uh, bah, 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 bah. we also have what I'm going to show today is the Coffin Premiere Editions right here. We're going to go over that. So we're going to go over that. So, folks, no call-outs. Just go to the store and uh, shop away. And you can find a lot of other fun goodies on here as well. You can, you can dig deep. We also have some of the Mardi Gras on here and uh, a bunch of stuff. Just basically, you can search through the categories. Use the categories to search and dive deep and this search tool for other stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, the original challenge coins, they might be sold out. You can shoot an email to inquiries at Coffin Comics because over the weekend we were promoting these and they might have already been picked up, so they removed them from the, uh, the store. So shoot an email to... To Psycho Sean at inquiries at coffincomics.com. Uh, and they might do, we might have still have the baseball hats if uh, the trucker hats that actually did turn out really cool. And the, these ones as well. I, I, I bought this one actually on the last Kickstarter. And you guys, have you noticed also the, uh, the enamel, enamel pins? Only 10 bucks. I'm a uh, fan of all the pins. So I love these when Brian brought these out. Uh, I was super psyched that uh, that we had those. Um, so you can find those. Just do a search, search for pins. You can see all the ones we have. Ten bucks. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Anyway, so we're here to talk about the Coffinverse Premiere Editions. And this is what we have here. <sighs> Great stuff. So, Chapter 1, Chaos Rules. This is the one that started it all. And I think actually some of you folks who are... You know what, now that I'm doing this with one hand, I should probably get the, the tripod. All right, let's do this. Come on. Let's go get the tripod. All right, we're heading, heading back here. Oh, yeah, speaking of pins, so like I said, I am a fan. I've got all the, uh, my lay pins and all the other pins. Fun stuff. If, you, uh, if you're into the pins, if, you're, if your pin game is strong, you can get a shadow box like that. Actually, I saw Brian Polito had one of those. So, uh... Uh, I thought that was great, so I had to pick one up. Okay, while I'm 
doing this with one hand. I am shaking and showing you the office here. And if you join us at Swarmfest 2021, I will give you the tour in person of this office, me and Psycho Sean's uh, lair. And, uh, sorry folks, let me just do this. And you'll see it in person. Uh, and we'll have a good time, a lot of fun. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. This might be a little loud. But today he is resting, so I am doing cameraman and QVC shopper. So uh, bear with me, folks. Let me do this real quick. And we will get on with the show. Uh, have any questions or any comments, concerns, please let me know. We can have a conversation like we're really together. Woo! Did you, uh, did you enjoy? Yeah, look at this. This place is a mess. We tore it up this weekend for the, um, for the Coffin Comics Con online. Brian Polito is rusting right now at the uh, Polito Manor. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't lose his voice completely over the weekend because he was uh, talking and entertaining us nonstop. Very fun. All right, so Coffin Comics, Lady Death. This is where it all started, folks. Restarted, I should say. So chapter one through 10. And chapter 11 going on right now at um, Kickstarter. We'll level it decimation. So these premiere editions uh, are gorgeous because they all have the, the foil enhanced covers. How is everyone's head? Everyone's head is <laughs> uh, doing good. I guess I'm not sure what that means. Winky wink. Yeah, we. Oh, uh, maybe that means hangovers. Uh, hangovers have uh, have subsided. Uh, we are good today since we had a day to rest at home yesterday, but now we're back at it. So a lot of fun. Uh, thanks, D Dog, Keller Breeze. Appreciate that. I always pre appreciate that. Um, why does he get to rest, Miguel is asking? Why does Brian Pulido get to rest? Because he is the arch fiend. And the arch fiend needs to rest. Without Brian Polito, we would not be here. We've got to make sure that that man is taken care of. So, Lady of Chaos Rules number one, $20. In the store right now, go to the link. Pick it up, chapter one. You guys are all fans of Brian Polito. Uh, artwork is amazing. Fun stuff. If you want a, uh, if you want to be whisked away to a, uh, another realm, to a realm of hell. Uh, yeah, no Julian today because he, he just like Brian, he was uh, hyping all weekend long, so he could not make it for today. He is uh, well deserved rest, like Brian Polito. Love this, uh, love this stuff. If you, if you. If you love um, Lord of the Rings and uh, Splatter Horror and uh, Game of Thrones, well, 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 is that my boy Troy? <laughs> so this is great. This is one of the Kickstarter things you can folks get. Miguel, um, Lady Death chopping off our fans' heads. Love it. Okay, Chaos Rules, Chapter 1. Beautiful book. This is where it starts at all. If you're wondering where to start on um, Lady Death, Chaos, uh, Lady Death Coffin Comics, this is where you start, Chapter 1, with Chaos Rules. Let me go to Chapter 2. Just look at the art. I'm, gonna, I'm kind of letting the, um, the artwork sell itself on these books. This is uh, Viraj, uh, Viraj from India at the helm of the, uh, the interiors. You know, over the weekend, we <clears throat> went over a lot of storylines and uh, don't want to give away too much. Yeah, yeah d dog, that's right. Hell ain't a bad place to be when you're with Lady Death. So, after 20 years' spell and do slumber, Lady Death awakes 
Armed with a new sword, Chaos, she wrecks havoc, ultimately slaying her longtime enemy, Seance. Reunited with her trusty steed, Visago, and the nameless wolves, she walks the hellscape, a relentless predator. Her thoughts and dark deeds known to her alone. Her unsettling presence is not gone, unnoticed by the Hellborn elders. Fun stuff, we get introduced to Jake. He gets uh, part of the, uh, she has to rescue him from hell. Uh, you know, I don't want to give too much away. Just look at the art. If if you see this book, you see this cover. This is the cover by um, Paolo Pantelena. If you see this, you see these interiors, and if that hooks you, you need to buy this book. You need to get in on this story. This is not for everyone, and we like it that way. We don't want this to be for everyone. This is for the people who get it. This is not for the mainstream. This is for the hardcore. This is for the fiends and the sworn. So if you get it, you get it. If you don't, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, the foil covers love love the uh, enhancements on that. So all these are on the links, no callouts, and um, yeah, yeah, Dirage Verma. Yep, this is more Dirage in this one. Uh, Extinction Express. So there is a train in here. The Express Train to Hell. It's the crazy train. Yeah, just look at that. Great stuff. $20. $20. Oh, yeah, I should be, like, really hyping this and selling this over the weekend. So $20, all these books, 48-page story and art, $20 as well, Damnation Game, Extinction Express, Express Chapter 3, Chapter 4, Oblivion Kiss, $20. Just look. The stories just keep getting better. Uh, the big baddies and each of these. The fun thing about this too, you okay? It you know has the over overriding story arc, but then uh, each story stands on its own. Uh, on its own, it's really fun. Um, I really need to go back and reread all these. This is it's a blast every time uh, to read this. Because uh, we get the PDF, we send out the PDF. I, you know, it's fun to read it on a PDF on the computer, but then it's something else differently. Just the tactile experience of reading it with some arch enemy in the background and just holding them and uh, with your headphones on and just reading uh, these stories. You can read them over and over again. That's, that's what's so great because you can really get lost in the art, lost in the story because Brian puts a lot of uh, Easter egg uh, items in each story because you don't even realize he's doing it until you go back and reread and you're like, oh yeah, that's the character um, from the previous story. So even has some, a couple chaos nods to chaos uh, Chaos Comics back in the day. So $20. Once again, all these chapters are $20. Go to the link in the description, ladyfstore.com. You can pick it up and enjoy these stories for yourself. All right. Yeah, what do you guys say? Well, how would you... Okay, so this, the fiends, we got a bunch of fiends and some sworn on here. How would you guys describe this for someone new? How would we, uh, how would we entice someone new that's watching to... To jump on this, besides the story, the art, the community that Brian has built. Oh yeah, this one. Check it out. You didn't even realize what Brian was doing until you see that he added a little Zach, some La Morta, some more uh, La Morta with uh, Lo um, Loco in there. So he didn't. He was just already planting the seeds for the coffin verse, which comes up in the future. And that's merciless onslaught number one. So you go to that link, you can see in the description on each of those uh, links as well, you can see which chapter it is. It's hard to tell um, the names, so you can go in there. And that's why we also put the chapter number on the top, so you can tell what the story is. That was something um, kind of confusing to folks at trying to sell these at conventions. They're like, which, which one's which? I can't tell. Well, now you can tell because it's got the chapters. But, like I said, you can also read these as standalone comics, which is really fun. Um, to do so, you can just jump back to one of your favorite ones and uh, reread those over and over again and not feel lost. Uh oh, spoilers! I don't want to share that one, but check this out War Angel. War Angel is back. A lot of folks were uh, really hyped and excited for that when we announced she was back during the Kickstarter. Story, art, community. I know people. Uh, and that's what Coffin Comics is all about. Brian Polito is a true, uh, true leader in the industry because he's not just, you know, not just the writer, owner, publisher. He's also a fan, a true fan of of comics. He's been collecting, and uh, he knows what uh, 
what fans really want, what we want, which is everything we were talking about here. The collectability, the, uh, the story, the art. Apocalyptic Abyss, Chapter 7. Yes. Oh, yeah, we got some Hell Witch action going on in here. So much fun. So, hey, give this a chance. If you're new to uh, Coffee Comics, you're new to Lady Death, and you're seeing this artwork, you just, just jump on it. Just try it. Um, you're going to love it. And you're also going to love the customer service. You're going to love the uh, how we ship. Uh, you know, we take shipping as an art form. Uh, we like to think of ourselves as the gold standard of shipping because we really care about the comics itself because we, uh, you know, we, we know people grade these comics. You know, there's some, some comics are readers and some are actually for the collectors that just love, uh, love the high-end comics and they also want the... Uh, I uh, want to get it graded as well. Oh, you know what? Hey, speaking of graded, let's take a quick uh, side note over here. Boom. We are also a CGC authorized dealer. The gold standard. Hey, Psycho Sean, everybody. Psycho Sean is on the, uh, on the feed with us right now. How's it going, Psycho? Hopefully uh, everything is going for, good for you. You guys swamped him with requests, swamped him with CGC uh, requests. And we love it. We love it. He's uh, in the trenches trying to dig, dig himself out of all these uh, uh, requests. And uh, thank you guys so much. So check it out. If you, boom, if you send us a request to uh, CGC, your books, uh, you could put it, when you place an order, you just put it in the comments. Oh, Miguel says the platinum standard. We try. We try to, we try to, Yeah. We try to shoot for platinum. We try to shoot, shoot for uh, you know the gold encrusted. Um, I don't know what's, what's above platinum, but <laughs> so check it out, guys. CGC Signature Series Yellow, four. That's the yellow one. Forty-five dollars per buck plus return shipping and handling. So basically, you're not going to get all that information right on the on the store. You're going to have to email us, and uh, Psycho Sean is going to have to behind the scenes. He's going to calculate for you. Calculate that on his. Uh, a calculator and get back to you and tell you what it is and then after you find out the the, the full price then you can say yeah let's do it and um or you can say hey yeah i love it let's add something else so that's always an option on these books so, so for new folks out there we are a cgc authorized dealer and facilitator so and let me say here questions send your questions to psycho sean at inquiries at coffincomics.com thank you guys um All right, so we have uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Daryl Jean Johnson. Whoa, says. Okay, he ch he answered my question here. So why why should people jump on this if they're new? Daryl Jean Johnson says it's good for any fiends and the sworn to have in their collection, and it's good for people who always ask the question, "What is Lady Death all about?" That is correct. If you want to know what it's about, read the book. You're gonna love it. If you're asking what is it about, that must mean you are interested. So we say, dive in, my friend. Dive in. You're going to love it. Nightmare Symphony. Did, it, did we show this one, Ray? So this one, okay. So these, these previous chapters, uh, Diraj Verma, and now we have Diego Bernard from Brazil who jumped in and, uh, yes, uh, started the, uh, is the new series. Let me move this up here. New series illustrator, and uh, he takes things to the next level. Love his art. Look at that. Oh, man. So gorgeous. And I believe, who's the colorist on this one? Uh, CC De La Cruz. Yes. CC is just uh, an amazing artist. Look at these characters. Man. So great. And you can stare at this art for hours and hours, so it's, it's great. You know, so you go to a movie, and you spend uh, all that amount that you do with the popcorn and the candy and, and everything. You sit next to people who, like, are talking or on their phone, and you miss violence. What is Lady Death about? It's about violence. And boobs. But, uh, yeah, you sit in a movie, and, uh, you know, you only get so much pleasure, and you get it for two hours, and it's done. You own... 
for the same price or less, I'm going to say even less, 20 bucks, you own a comic book that you can read and reread and uh, enjoy for years to come. And you can hand it off to your uh, families and friends, and they can also read it as well. It's a family heirloom that we passed on forever. Okay, let's go to Scorched Earth. These are all $20. This is Chapter 9. Go to ladyfstore.com or click on the link in the description to go, uh, below or above where it's at. And don't forget, no call-outs, folks. So on this uh, CBSN channel, no call-outs are needed because you just go right to the link and you purchase. You know, I I kept saying, last time we did this with Brian, I was like, Brian, no, that, that's my favorite, um, Unholy Ruin. And then, then he was like going over the next one. I was like, nope, nope, that's my favorite. They keep getting better and better. I think my, my favorite is going to be the next one that we do and the next one and the next one. It just keeps getting – Brian has just keep building, building on this coffin verse, keeps building on this universe. So the stories – obviously the story gets better because you get to know the characters more and you get to see more of the story. As the story unfolds, it gets – it's more and more exciting. And um, okay, I've got a, I got a, uh, I got a confession to make. I did not know about Chaos Comics and Brian's original Lady Death. So for me, Coffin Era Comics, this is this is my this is my Lady Death universe right here. So I get to enjoy the uh, the comics coming to life right before my eyes. I get to be a part of it. Not only that, as a but as a fan, I get to watch as oh, side note, dudes and dudettes. Plan now and join us for Sworn Fest 2021. We had a blast at Sworn Fest or uh, Fiend Fest. What was it two years ago? 2021. Next year. Next year. Plan ahead. Get your tickets now. Sworn Fest. I hope to see you, everyone there. Uh, I think everyone that's on this feed has probably already already been there. Actually, I haven't even seen this photo. I don't know who took that one. That's a, that's a great photo. I should find that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. What a blast. It's so great to see you guys. Brian has so much fun uh, and excitement planned for next year. And next year, we're all going to need it. Because this year, it's just, woo, we've got so much fun stuff planned. It's just going to be so great to finally celebrate with you guys once again in person. But uh, I, forget, I, I lost my chair of thought. So this, I get to watch the Coffinverse uh, develop before my eyes. And it's so fun. And we all get to. So this is, this is amazing. Uh, the stories and, and the art is just so, so, so stunning. Um, was that Haley? Uh, so Haley says, I'm so glad Swarmfest wasn't planned for this year. Yeah, that's right. It was, it's always been planned for next year. Uh, we want to make sure everyone has enough time to uh, plan. We want people to fly in. We want people to travel. So uh, we want people to take their time and plan this for, uh, for next year so you can have the full experience. Uh, Ace, Ace is saying Coffin Comics Con Online was amazing. Yes, it was. And we want to also thank um, the Comic Book Shopping Network, Jesse James, for letting us do a couple of live streams here on the uh, CBS, the Facebook page of uh, Comic Book Shopping Network. Uh, so that was, that was amazing, having all those different streams. Uh, and folks, if you want to just dive in, if you are sold, if you're like, that's it, you have me. I want it all. You can get this premier edition uh, collection, the full collection, all 10 chapters. If you're like, that's it, I'm sold. There it is. It's all in here. This uh, limited edition collector's box. Love these. This one has the um, magnet clips, so it's not the Velcro, which get uh, torn and messed up every time you open it and closing it. Uh, this one is $200, but it also comes with uh, some extra goodies, which I forget what they are. But go to the link right now. You can see the extra goodies. I believe it's going to be some extra cards, some extra um, a, a mini print. I believe that's, that's everything on there. But if you're in, if you're all in, this is what you want. This is what you want to get because it's going to look awesome. You can take it to cons. You can take it so you can have all your books with you. Get all the artists to sign it. Get Brian Polito to sign get uh, remarks done on these books, and you can keep them all together in one uh, amazing collector's box right there. All right, so we still have time to keep going. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. So 
Also for new folks, hey, I'm, so this is, if this is you, hey, I love this art. I love the idea of the story. I love what you're, you're, you're telling me that Lady Death woke up from a sleep from after 20 years, and now she's kicking ass and taking names in hell. I'm sold. So you want to get the first three chapters? You could do it with this. Lady Death Rules, Volume 1, Trade Paperback, or Volume 1, Hardcover. First three stories in here. Um, this is a steal for the amount of uh, story and art. Only $20, right? The SRP. Nin oh, I'm sorry, it's $19.99. You hold off that one, one penny for, uh, for savings. So you can get the whole story, whole kit and caboodle right here. First three, I mean, I'm sorry, the first three chapters right here. Not the whole story. The whole story keeps going. Um, so, okay, uh, we have a question here. Nightmare Symphony, Chapter 8, has both issues in the book. Okay, so, okay, we're going to pause this right now. So, Chapter 8. So, we have two. So, to clarify... I showed before that we have, in the comic market edition, so what we sell to through Diamond, we break up the story into two chapters, one and two. So, and that was, uh, what, 32 pages on those ones? So this, this one is the full story on Chapter 8, Nightmare Symphony, Chapter 8, number one. For $20, you get the full story, which would be 48 pages for $20. So that's what that's what we're looking at, and it has this has the limited edition, um, premier edition uh, gold foil on there, and stunning artwork. Uh, Diego Bernard, I believe. Let's see. Since I said that, testing my knowledge of the, yeah, Diego Bernard cover. Love that cover too. That was uh, we had this as a print. I remember that packing a lot of these. Who's selling out? So, all right. So, if you're interested in chapter eight, let's take a look real quick. What, what is this about? Oh, got to run, Scott. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, thank you for saying I rule. You swore, uh, sworn. Yes, Scott, you rule. Uh, looking forward to seeing you again at the next event. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, so, chapter eight, set in the days leading up to her cursed sleep. Let's take a look at the cover while we do this. Set in the days leading up to her cursed sleep. Twenty years ago, witness the deep, dark secrets of Lady Death's doom romance with Ravenheart, the birth and abduction of her beloved children by villains most foul, and behold Lady Death's wrath unleashed like never before. Featuring the epic villainy of Seance and the return of an insidious foe determined to rob Lady Death of happiness, when all hope is lost, all that remains is death. So yeah, definitely we want to pick up chapter 8. Nightmare Symphony for only $20. Brian Polito will sign that for free and give a uh, certificate of authenticity. Uh, you just select that on the, um, on the link. So ladyofstore.com, ladyofstore.com, or click on the link in the description. So once again, we've got the trade. The full trade of three. Sorry, this trade or hard paperback has the first three chapters. Bop, 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 bop. Lady Death. Volume 2, let me position this so it looks cool when I reveal this, has the next four chapters, of, I believe. Hold on. This is normally Julian. So chapter 4, 5, 6, and 7. So this actually has four chapters in it. 4, 5, 6, and 7. 4, 5, 6, and 7. The SRP on the trade is only $19.99 with free signature by Brian Polito. Look at that artwork. Love that artwork. Look at the dead, the dead rise and praise Lady Death. Wow. Damn, son. And then we got the um, hardcover version of that. Four chapters in there. Volume two. Which is only, this one's $34.99. And I believe if you search 
somewhere on the uh, website, latefstore.com, you will find, I don't think it's in the dis- link in the description, but if you search, you can find there's a, a bundle of these two together. So do that. Save some, save some money and enjoy the story. Anywho, all right, so we're talking about the full coffin verse, the full coffin verse that Brian Polito has created before our eyes. So we're watching this unfold. This is not, this is not something that happened in the 80s, not something that happened in the 90s, not something that happened in the 70s. It's happening right now, right before our eyes. Brian Polito is just building and creating this coffin verse. This is something it's, it's for us to enjoy. It's for us to experience. And that's why I keep saying this. The, each story is my next favorite because he keeps building on the story of Lady Death. And uh, the story and the characters keep getting more uh, in-depth, more detailed. I don't think I even looked at chapter 10 yet. Maybe I did. But check this out. So this, this we have. So this kind of ties into. This is the introduction of the Sworn. All right. The Sworn which includes the other characters that he's already been working on, which he finally ties them in together, which we didn't even know he was tying them in together, but he put he laid the groundwork and put the seeds and put the, uh, the Easter eggs in there to let us know that they're all coming together in chapter 10, the coffin verse. So normally we, go, we talk about Zach at the end. I'm going to talk about Zach right now. They are in Zach and Zane. They are in the... Um, in the coffin verse. So this one we have right here, limited to 200. This is the special uh, limited edition. So I feel, okay, so do you love zombie movies? Do you love Shaun of the Dead? Do you love, uh, what's, the, what's the other one? There's other zombie movies. There's, there's a whole bunch of zombie comedy movies, right? But how many zombie comedy, zombie, what the hell am I saying? Zombie comedy? How many zombie comedy movies are there? <laughs> And that are in a comic book. This is the only zombie comedy that I know of. That's a hundred and uh, what, hundred ninety-two pages, full color. The full story is in here. Since Brian Polito and Mike McLean, the uh, co-writer, they write stories. Uh, they write uh, movies. They're originally uh, screenwriters. Um, this reads because this re- okay. Let me just take a step back. This was originally a script for a movie they were going to make. So when you read this, to me, when I read this, this reads like it is a movie. It's a, a movie script because that's how they wrote it. So it's not um, not like a comic because I know Brian. Brian and uh, Mike McLean also did a, um, a panel on that. Go to, the, go to Coffin Comics TV on YouTube and you'll see the panel about how to write uh, comic books. In script. So they talk about the difference between a movie script and a comic book script. So this, I feel, because it was originally written as a movie script, that's how it reads to me. Anyway, you got to check this out. It's, it's really fun. These characters, you fall in love. I don't know. I fall in love with them by the end. They're, they're really goofy, little fu- really fun. It's kind of like Wayne's World meets Dawn of the Dead. Uh, splatter comedy. I'm a huge fan of 80s splatter comedy, and that's what we have going on here. A lot of blood and gore. Got to love that. I'm a huge, I don't know if, if you notice on my uh, desk here at HQ, I got all these horror movie um, monsters and stuff like that. I'm a huge horror fan. That's what me and Brian geek out on. Uh, so if you love horror movies, you love zombie movies, you love comedy and uh, splatter comedy, it's lighthearted, super fun. Um, it just feels like you're reading a B movie in comic book form. So great. So great. Uh, let's see. Look familiar? Oh, but okay, Miguel says Fido. Yeah, another. that's another uh, zombie uh, comedy movie. Very good. This is awesome in the back. Master of Horror, Brian Polito. Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the comic book store, Brian Polito brings you another horror treat. <laughs> I don't know what he brings you. He's bringing you kick-ass stories, that's for sure. So this one. Uh, I believe it's only 20 bucks. Yes, that's what the sticker says. Only $20. $20. This is really fun um, to sell at uh, conventions because when people come up, and they're like, hey, I want to get the most bang for my buck. And it's like, dude, if you want a full story, if you want 192 pages, 
full color, amazing story. This is the book for you, man. And they, they always buy it because once you flip through and you see the art and you're like, you could tell the dude he's wearing a, a metal shirt. And if you're wearing a metal shirt right now watching this, then you need this book. You need to check it out. I promise you, you're going to enjoy it. I promise you. Because also these characters make an appearance in Bless Me Anthem, number one, as in the uh, part of the sworn. So very cool. Brian tied it all together and uh, it's coming back. All right, so let's also jump over to Hell Witch. We're going to go backwards here. All right, I got 15 minutes. See so if we can get us go through all this stuff. So once again, folks, go to ladyofstore.com, ladyofstore.com. Click on the link. Uh, free ship. No, 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 no free shipping. Free signature from Brian Polito on everything. You just hit the, the scroll down. Hey, you know what? Let me show you right here. Well, let's, let's do this again. This is for new folks. We're on a comic book shopping network, and I want to show folks here how we do this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Once again, we're back in the crypt. I get to have a lot of fun with Psycho Sean, who sits right next to me, who's uh, working remotely today. Boom. LadyFStore.com. I don't know if I can get, get close to this. Let's do this. We also have some, uh, a couple. Well, that one's sold out. This one's still available. Let's say you wanted this. This was uh, this weekend's, uh, used to be Emerald City Comic Con, but now it's uh, formerly... Emerald City Comic Con now. It's uh, Com Coffee Comics Con online. You can still get these. So right here. I'm not sure how it looks like on your phone, but here you can you get the signing preference. It's always unsigned or signed, and it's free. Always free. Brian Polito is a man of the, uh, of the people, for the people. Comes from a working class background. He doesn't feel that uh, he needs to gouge people on a signature. But he also feels like signatures are a way for him to uh, connect with the fans. Because a lot of people, a lot of folks, you know, they don't live in Arizona. They're not going to be able to make it out to a con. So he feels uh, signatures are a great way to connect with people. And I, I love it. I love that he does that. All right, Hellwitch. Hellwitch first showed up in Extinction Express. I believe that's the one. Yes, that's right, Psycho Sean. Uh, Brian Polito is a working class comic book hero. He's not, Brian Polito is not on his ivory tower, sitting down, watching us, laughing, uh, saying, you are all fools. He is in the trenches with us. He is a comic book fiend, just like us. And I believe this is where, I don't know, somewhere in the earlier chapters, okay, is Hellwitch. But anyway, Hellwitch, such an amazing character, uh, folks really uh, wanted to see her own book. Haley says, Hell Witch, hell yeah. Haley, you know it. Girl, you know you want the Hell Witch. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, uh, <laughs> Diego Bernard's cover right here. Amazing, amazing cover, amazing book. I love this story. This takes, okay, Lady Death uh, can be considered a little risque. Hell Witch is a little bit more mature for a more mature audience. So, folks, you might want to cover your eyes for this if you do not like mature uh, content. Please uh, ask your children to leave the room since we're going to be looking at more mature content. So uh, you can do what I did when uh, watching mature content with your family at home. You're like, oh, this is the part. I'm just going to close my eyes, but I'm still going to see a little bit. Anyway, just having fun here, folks. Uh, oh, once again, let's just say, let's, uh, let me mention this. Are you in need of comic book customer service? Cool. We are here to help. Get in touch. You email PsychoSean at inquiries at coffeecomics.com and hours of operation Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, Mountain Standard Time, Saturdays and Sundays closed. If we are closed, we'll get back to you uh, in touch with you the next business day. Thanks. So if uh, that's our uh, stated customer service hours, PsychoSean would love to work for you uh, around the clock, but uh, psycho Sean is not that psycho and we don't want him to burn out. We want him to give you great customer service. And if we are going, uh, around the clock with customer service, he's going to burnt out, get burnt out and he's not going to be able to help you out, uh, as greatly as he can. Um, what? I never get used to hearing my name said with an accent. An accent? Who's got an accent, Haley? Haley. No, I, I'm just going to stop that right now. 
Uh, also, hey, check this out. Visit ladyofstore.com. Visit today. Yeah, we got exclusive comics. We got limited editions. We got back issues, prints. Uh, we got trading cards, branded supplies, merch, and check this out. <laughs> uh, we have Hell Witch exclusives and latest exclusives. We got uh, Killer Customer Service, Psycho Sean. We've got uh, Secure Shopping, and orders are expertly packed and shipped thanks to Brandy Reese, the Warehouse Fulfillment Manager, and the uh, Coffin... coffin uh, crew anyway so more mature i promise more mature comic and this is what you're gonna get if you like boobs you like blood you like violence do you like sex uh are you alive are you living are you breathing then yes this is the book for you oh gorgeous artwork uh i think this is hey now i'm a rock star let's not look at that hey whoa hey now let's just jump over here uh in America, we enjoy blood and violence, and uh, we also enjoy nudity and sex, but we do not like to uh, acknowledge that part of us. But hey, Coffee Comics, this one, Coffee Comics are good comics for bad boys and girls. And uh, so if you, if you check this out, if you think you, you dig it, if this might be for you, it is for you. If you see this and you think, hey, what the... What was that? What am I looking at? Yep, this is for you. If you get that funny feeling in your... Um... Oh, okay, Psycho Sean wants us to, know, wants us to talk about what's uh, some of the credits in the front of the book. Yeah, we'll do that. Whoopsies. So, um, Miguel, yeah. Look at this, the pain pits or hell pits, whatever this is. All right, so if, you, if this comic gives you a funny feeling in your tummy, this book might be for you, and it is for you. Let's just talk about this real quick. Only $20. Go to latestore.com. Pick it up. Uh-oh, uh, I've got about uh, nine minutes left to talk about uh, La Morta. So we're going to talk about this real quick. Uh, Hell Witch. Hell Witch. Hell Witch wasn't always the dominant Hellborn leader she is today, able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Lady Death. In her humble past, Hellwitch began life as a lowly hatchling, the lowest caste in the magnificent hell, hell, hell hive. Sorry, <clears throat> destined forever to be a pit slave, discarded body parts in the pain pits. But through sheer drive and determination, she rises through the castes to become a warrior, to take a lover, to gain respect. But the Hive Queen takes notice and makes Hellwitch life an unbearable hell. Can a lowly rebel pit slave topple a mighty hierarchy? Out to crush her. You must find out. With only $20, you can pick it up at ladefstore.com. Hellwitch, the Hellborn, number one. Pick it up today. All right, so real quick. So like Psycho Sean says, let's look at some the credits here. Bada boom, bada bing. We got co-writer Brian Polito and Mike McClain on Hellwitch. We got illustrated Dio Bernard, covered by Cece De La Cruz, lettered by Marshall Dillon, Howard's logo bar, veteran letterer, Marshall Dillon. So we got everyone else. Ba, 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 ba. And we're going to talk about Coffin Comics. Who we got the Coffin Comics? Heck yeah. We got Francisco Polito, the president of Coffin Comics. A woman, ladies and gentlemen, a woman is the president of Coffin Comics, who, often, who also happens to be the wife of Brian Polito, the publisher, writer, and creator of Lady Death and Hell Witch. Blah, blah, blah. We got uh, Jimmy Kellerbeast, marketing. We got Brandy Reese, warehouse manager. We got Nick Gallegos, customer. Oh, this is old information, folks. Nick Gallegos is now editor. And we have Psycho Sean as customer service manager and uh, online sales, I believe. And uh, blah, 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 blah. let's see, Bernie Fritz, who is the graphic designer for this one. And Jeff Cooperschmidt as warehouse badass. And Dakota Reese as warehouse assistant. And it does not even mention... Julian, Julian the Hooligan. All right, folks, we've got five minutes left. Let's run through this real quick. If you have any questions, let me know. We are going to look at all these um, La Morta comics. You can pick these up at ladyofstore.com and learn all about the uh, coffin universe created by Brian Polito and funded by you. All right, so here we go. La Morta Descent, number one. Only $20. Chapter one. We also put the chapters right here. So go to ladyfstore.com right now and uh, look at these. You will love this if you are a fan of uh, a fan of who? A fan of what? Come on, brain. 
kick it into high gear. I'm, I'm trying to think of the name. Death Wish. If you're a fan of Desperado, um, it's a crime noir thriller. Love this. So, uh, so uh, last right. Here we go. Number two. The second part of the story. Psycho Son, he's online here. He's saying, heck yeah, you all, thank you for joining in. We, uh, and your support is appreciated. Yes, your support is appreciated because you, you guys vote with your dollars. Hey, folks, Mike McLean, co-writer of Lady Death, co-writer of La Marta, and co-writer of Hell Witch is uh, viewing. Right now, he's joining us on this live stream here at uh, Comic Book Shopping Network. Everyone say hi to Mike. Mike, we love your work. You are a great man, a great uh, human, and uh, we appreciate everything you do. So check this out, folks. If you're new to La Morta, yeah, you need to jump on this right now. So let, let, me, uh, let me try to do this one, too, this, uh, this pitch. See, see if, this, uh, if this sounds like something you will uh, want to read, then this is something you want to read, and you want to pick this up. All right. Let's look at this. Uh, let's look at the latest book. And, okay, this one is an amazing cover here from uh, Paolo Pantalena, uh, superstar artist. So check this out, guys. Do you, do you like this? Listen to this, listen to this. La Morta is the story of Maria Diaz, a U.S. soldier returning from a tour of duty in Afghanistan to be reunited with her family on Dia de los Mortes, the Day of the Dead. But her brother has fallen in with the Zavalas, a death wish being crime cartel led by the nefarious Mama Z. When they see the family celebrating, they believe they've been ripped off by them. The entire family is murdered in cold blood. Maria awakens out of a coma eight months later to find her family dead and gone. She seeks vengeance from the police, but she finds none. They are all in league with the crime cult. Daring the impossible, Maria, aided by the mysterious Fiastino, decides to avenge her family and send the Zavalas to hell, even at the cost of her own humanity. There you go, guys. If that sounds exciting, it is exciting. Check out this artwork. Uh, Joel Gomez is uh, the series illustrator. Okay, got a couple, four minutes left. Uh, yes, that is correct, Psycho Sean. Mike McLean, the man, the myth, the writing machine. It's so great. Uh, we know on days when uh, Brian and Mike are coming in because they, uh, we know every time they meet to talk about story. Um, it's, it's an exciting day because we know the coffin versus growing. We know the, um, the company will be growing further through story and art. So check out this character. This is cool. This is Loco. He is the uh, our version of the Barrio Batman. Super fun characters. Uh, crime, suspense, supernatural, set in a uh, what Brian Polito likes to call a Mexi Noir style, and it totally does. Uh, a breaking news. Uh, also, interior artist Joel Gomez, stunning, stunning artist. He's also going to be co-writing on some of the future. Um, story. So I can't wait to see what Mike and Joel and Brian come up with. It is going to be one hell of a ride, I tell you what. And I, you know what? I fell in love from the beginning with Descent, and then Last Rites, and then Vengeance. It keeps getting better. The characters keep getting more and more developed, and uh, the storyline just keeps getting uh, more and more wild. So once again, I should probably sell some of these too, right? $20 on the store right now, ladyfstore.com. $20, $20, $20, $20. This one, this is the only one we have with the first red uh, foil enhancement. Only $20, folks, right now. These are also 48-page full-color stories. You can read them out of order, but we suggest that you read them in order because it makes more... Uh, well, it still makes sense because they are standalone stories, but when you read them um, in chronological order, the story builds upon itself and it gets better and better and more exciting. And you can get the first three chapters here. Okay. Get the first three chapters here in La Morta Lives, Volume 1, Trade Paperback. Tra trade Paperback, only $20. And La Morta Lives, Volume 1, Hardcover. Uh, this one is thirty-four ninety-five. Look at these, amazing! Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so that's about it. Looks like time's up, folks. Once again, go to latestore.com. You can pick up all these great books from the Coffin Verse, from Lady Death to La Morta to Zack the Zombie Exterminator and Hell Witch. And don't forget, right now we have a Lady Death uh, Kickstarter going on right now. 
Lady Death Malevolent Decimation ending soon. And we also have these uh, Scorched Earth books. You can get the whole set for $75.95, I think it is. And then uh, each of these independently. Once again, look at that. Look at that foil enhancement. Love it, love it, love it. Thanks, folks. Next week, Julian Moraga. Julian, the hooligan, will be back to take over his show. And uh, I'll be put back into my proper place as cameraman only. Thanks for bearing with me. Had a lot of fun. Uh, got a little crazy. And uh, we'll see you next time. Coffin Comics, Jimmy Calabrese, Jimmy Coffin, signing off. See ya.